can be fun. Hydro fam, how are you doing today? As you can see, we're in a different location. We thought it was a cool idea to change it up a little bit. And uh, we're going to talk about what's coming up next for Hydro Haley. So, grab your coffee and cheers. So, the big thing for you this year, I guess, is Special Olympics. Yeah. Going to the Nationals. In December. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be. I'm really excited about that. You know, I've just had my T1 and T2. And that was very stressful because you, it's like qualifying for something that you want to go to. So nationals is something that I've always wanted to go to since I started athletics. Um, but the journey to get to nationals has been quite a long one. Very mm, so what do you know about the nationals? Well, I know they're in December. <laughs> I was supposed to do some research, but I forgot to. <laughs> How often do they have them? Uh, every four years, which so is just like the Olympics. Just pretty much like the Olympics. So it's a pretty big deal. It's a huge deal, and yeah. to like I at school, you know, I never really got to go to something like national competition uh -huh, kind of uh -huh, thing. So uh -huh. it's kind of special for me. It's like my first ever sort of big deal sporty thing because I was never really sporty at, at school. Right. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, it's, a, it's a big deal. It yeah. It's a big deal. It's a huge deal. So what have you had to do to get this far? Well, I had eight weeks of training, um, and then I could do my first competition, which was the T1, which was held in Tauranga. Yep, and that's a one-day event. That's a, uh, yep, that's a one-day event. Yep. So then in March, I actually went to uh, Halwick for T2, so that's a two-day event. It's kind of a little bit of an inkling of an idea with the T2 thing. Ah, uh, very clever. Yeah, very. I like that. Yeah. So, so these were compulsory, right? You yeah. cannot go to the Special Olympics Nationals. If I don't go to the, yeah. If I don't go to the T1 or T2, I can't, yeah. yeah. So what are your specialty events? Um, so I'm going to do the 1500, 800 and long jump. Holy moly. Yeah, just like what I did in both my other competitions that I did, because it's a lot easier for me to stick to the things that I know. So you've been training with a group of other athletes? Yeah, yeah, it's, that's cool. It's cool to be a part of a team uh, where I actually feel like I fit in and, and belong. Cool, and in a practical sense, what do you do as a team? How often do you meet? Every, normally every Sunday when the weather is really fine. Uh -huh. <laughs> and when you come together on those training days, what sort of stuff do you do? So like do like a, a run first around the track and then we go into strength and conditioning training, oh, yeah. which is um, getting the body working and it's kind of getting your muscles moving and stuff. So what sort of exercises? So I do like a plank and, oh, yeah. and uh, push-ups and we do this little obstacle course thing which is really fun. Um, it can be quite tiring but, <laughs> but, um, but I, I enjoy it. And then we get into the running. So in between these weekly um, team sessions, yep. what's your own training schedule like? So I train with a lady called Simone Rockcliffe and she has a little gym at her home. She's got a lot of experience under her belt with PT and um, she's actually worked with someone with a disability um, other than me too. So she knows how to um, work with people like me uh, and explain things in a way that I will understand. I started working with Hayley in June last year after COVID um, and we started working together to get her faster at her running and better at her athletics and as we added in more strength training she really grew to love the strength training and feeling really strong through that um, so it turns out we do more strength training now than we actually do athletics and running. That's really interesting so with her experience with somebody else with a disability mm -hmm. does she do different do you think she does things with you differently to how she might do it with other people? Yeah, oh, definitely, because she, we have this own like little language that we use, you know, so when we do uh, these, ro they're called rows, uh -huh. we call them chicken wings, uh -huh. because when I first started, my elbows were out like this, so they look like a little bit of a chicken, uh -huh. so, so we call them our chicken wings. So with Hayley, I find it easiest to relate techniques to existing things she's already familiar with. 
So we changed the name of exercises so that she knows what we're doing. So we have like a back exercise and she calls it swimmers or a stretch that she calls a frog stretch or chicken wings for rowing movements. Um, and if we can relate new movements to previous names of exercises, she picks them up faster because she relates it things to things she already knows. As well as I find doing exercises at the same time as her for a first set will help her pick it up really well and then she's kind of away with it. So it helps me with my coordination and it's good, making me a lot stronger uh, in my arms and my legs and it's making me actually feel like a better person. When I first started with Hayley, she didn't believe in herself very well. So as soon as she was bad at something, that was it. Like she was crap at it. She didn't want to repeat it. But a huge thing that I've found is that because people have doubted her in the past, she doubts her abilities when she's actually a lot more capable than she thinks. Um, so through the more we prove her wrong mentally, the more capable she is in her training sessions. So that's something that's huge. Her mental, her mindset has changed a lot um, as we've challenged her more in the gym. So do you think it's making you a better athlete? Yeah, you know, I've noticed a huge difference with my um, running and my long jump because when I first started long jump, I was only like just getting into the pit, not like two point something moves, you know, cool. like yeah, a long yeah, yeah. jump. Yeah, so, so it is making a difference. It's, it's a huge difference. I'm really excited about Hayley competing in the Special Olympics um, Nationals in December this year. Um, this is something we'll be training towards throughout this whole year and adding running and training, um, running training later in the year. But at the moment, we're just focusing on strength until we get more into the season. Yeah, and I got a, I got an ab line now. Oh my god! Yeah. TMI. <laughs> so last but not least, you've also got something coming up with your mum. Yeah. So my mum and I are actually going to be doing this little series called Coffee with Mama, and we're going to be talking about mum's struggles and mum's highs, I guess, with having a child with hydrocephalus mm -hmm. and talking about all the different things that she struggled with, you know, that really affected her mm. as well. So She's got some cool stories. She too. has a lot of cool stories. Mm. So we're going to film it at my mum's house because mm -hmm. she has a really cool lounge room um, and really comfy, comfy chairs. And it's going to be cool. We're going to have coffee together. We're going to just chat. And so just nice and cash. Nice and cash and yep. like not over the top, you know, because it's just not me. <laughs> um, but, you know, it's going to be interesting and I hope it's uh, very insightful. And rumour has it that it has its own theme song. Yeah, so I came up with the idea for a theme song, but it wasn't until you came and helped me with all the musician stuff, that musician stuff. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, uh, that used to be my job, musician. Um, um, that we actually got, put our heads together and we came up with a theme song. Yeah, I think it came together well too. Yeah, because I had the I, the words, I had the idea, didn't I? Uh -huh. And the kind of dun 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 how it went, mm. yep. you know? Yep. It's, yeah, it was pretty easy to, to write. Yeah, I'm actually really glad that you're going to help us with it. Yeah, it's going to be fun, an yeah. extra challenge. Yeah. Um, so it's the first time we've done a little theme song together, and I think we'll try and bring some new tricks yeah. into this one. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I, I just think it's going to be an interesting little series. Thank you for watching Hydro Haley. This was a really cool setting to yeah, do a, a main video in. Please like and subscribe. And if you are new to the Hydro fam, a big welcome to you. It is always cool to have new subscribers and followers on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye. See you. Sweet. <laughs>